Before I started at Aspire, I, um, I was actually a client of Aspire's and I was in media sales, had been for about five years, I was a bit complacent, didn't really know what else to do, came in to see Olivia who actually helped recruit for me on the, on the graduate team here and she told me about coming to work with Aspire. Personally I couldn't think of anything worse at the time, I didn't want people to be my product. Um, but over time I, I came to, to really like the idea, I thought it would be a lot more rewarding than the transactional kind of media sales process. And after about 12 months I found myself working for Aspire instead. And it was the career path as well, career path, the progression opportunities, the great benefits package, the um, office environment and location, it was a whole collection of things that, that seemed to make it the perfect choice for me. I wish I'd done it 12 months sooner to be honest. I work with any media owner um, for, for commercial roles, so it could be for any commercial position that's selling advertising in digital, in print, in broadcast, um, and that's where my background is as well, so I understood what those clients were looking for, I understood what the candidates were looking for in that market as well. The type of clients that I work with, probably all of the, the well-known media owners, my key accounts are News UK, the Immediate Media, which are the ex-BBC magazines, Hearst magazines, IPC, Global Radio, Channel 5. It's all the big brands that we know. In recruitment and at Aspire, when you place a candidate in their dream role and they send you cards and chocolates and flowers. It's not about the gifts, but it's actually about how you have changed somebody's life and they will thank you for it forever.